video is going to be a quick hair tutorial showing you how to do this romantic, messy, twisted fishtail braid. Now I absolutely love wearing fishtails no matter what time of the year but they are great in the winter because a lot of the time I wear scarves and it stops my hair from like knotting at the back of my neck so I really like them. They're also really really easy to do. They look complicated but they're actually really easy and they work best when you have dirty hair. Although when I start this video I actually do have super squeaky clean hair so I'm also going to show you a few tips if you want to do a fishtail braid but if your hair is clean to make it easier for you. I did actually wear this during a shoot that I did with L'Oreal this week and if you guys want to go and check that out I'll put a link in the info bar below it was super fun I went out for a girly day with my friends Amelia and Becky and we went up the London Eye and it was just awesome so they've made this super beautiful video um, of our day so I hope you guys enjoy that and let's get into the tutorial so like I said fishtails do work even better on dirty hair but if you do have clean hair like me as you can see my hair is wet right now it helps to add a few products into your hair before you start your braid so what I'm doing now is just adding a little bit of heat protectant this is Elnet's heat protect spray this is the volumizing version from L'Oreal Paris what I'm going to do is spray a little bit of this in and then just work it through with my fingers you can comb it but I think it's easier just to do it with your fingers if I'm honest and then this just helps not only to protect your hair from the heat from your hair dryer which I'm using now but it also adds a little bit of volume and just a little bit more body to the hair. Once it's dry I'm going to use a little bit of texturizing spray. You can also use a dry shampoo depending on what you have but this just helps to add more texture to the hair obviously but this will make your plait last longer but it's also going to make it easier to put in as well because it really adds a bit more friction especially useful if you have particularly shiny or slippy hair. So once I have really worked that into my hair what I'm going to do is back home a little bit. So I'm going to start with the fringe just to add that extra bit of volume and also to keep the volume in place throughout the day so it doesn't kind of fall out too easily. So I'm going to add a little bit of back combing in the front and then I'm also going to put a little bit in the back as well around my crown. Like I said you can add a bit more volume than me if you want to. I just am doing a tiny tiny bit but it will help it stay in place all day. And then I'm going to start the twist at the back of my head. So what you want to do is just sweep your hair all the way over to the side and then start twisting you want to keep the twist really tight and then you want to secure it in place with a couple of bobby pins or hair grips whatever you want to call them and don't worry about being able to see these because we're going to take them out a bit later on so once you've done that you want to section your hair into two halves and then you want to start taking small sections from the outer side of each of these halves and pull it over to the inner side of the other half as you can see like I'm doing now if you want your fishtail to be a little bit more chunky you can use larger sections if you want it to be really fine and have lots of intricate detail use smaller sections of hair and then you just want to keep doing this all the way down right to the bottom of your hair. And another thing to note as well is that I like to keep a little bit of hair out of the front. Totally up to you and depends on the length of your fringe, but that is how I like to do my fishtails. I like to leave quite a lot of hair out at the front. And as you are plaiting down your hair, in order to make the plait kind of twist around and keep in theme with the twist at the back of your head, you just need to keep pulling it in towards you as you're plaiting. And then once you get to the end, it does get a little fiddly, but just keep going as far down as you possibly can. And then once you're done, secure it with a clear plastic band. You can use a normal hairband, but these ones are invisible, so they tend to look a lot better, especially with this kind of hairstyle. Then I'm gonna take the grips out of the back of my hair. This should stay in place because we've twisted it around quite tightly. And then once you have finished that, what you wanna do is just to start pulling out sections of your fishtail, just to make it look a bit more messy and relaxed and beachy. This can take a little while, you just want to gradually kind of tease the plait to be a little bit wider than it is when you put it in. And you can start at the bottom and just work your way up and then just keep going over and over. And you can also pull like individual sections out as well if you want it to be a little bit more messy. And then once I'm happy with my plait, I'm just going to add a little bit more back combing into the fringe just to add a little bit more volume. And then I am going to spray it to keep it in place. I'm using L'Oreal's Elnet. This is the original version. And I'm also just going to spray uh, my hair just to get rid of any flyaways and also to keep the plait in place. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, today I am back with a haul video for you all. It feels like it's been ages since I've done a haul. And for me, it probably has been longer than normal. But for normal people, 